So I wanted to go over today how to clean your Doug antique bottles for those of you bottle diggers out there. If you already know where I'm going with this, you already have a bottle tumbler, then that's fine. Uh, just skip on to the next video. But if you don't, and you're interested in learning how to properly clean your bottles, properly and professionally clean your bottles, stay tuned. So, this is a bottle tumbler, right here. And basically, it's a pretty simple operation, right? I mean, you got a motor, you got to turn the driver roller, which is this. Driver roller here, get a motor, you got some pulleys. Um, in this case, I am set up for the slower speed, uh, 20 RPMs. So, the lower RPMs are small um, pulley to large pulley. The fast speed is large pulley to small pulley. I don't really use this speed, the fast speed, a lot. This is 20 RPMs. This is 80 RPMs. You get a lot more problems when you spin faster. Uh, you get a lot more breakage. If you spin slower and you leave it on a little longer, leave the bottles on a little longer, you, um, you have better success, in my opinion. I mean, some people may disagree, whatever, that's fine, that's their prerogative. Um, so this is what it looks like <clears throat> when you, um, right, so you plug it in, and that's what you have. You have a, a nice slow spin, you have, a, there's your driver roller, right, and you put your tube on here, it drives, you put another tube on here, you put your heavier you know, whatever's the biggest bottle is or whatever, the heavier one on here. And they drive the other two. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a quick look at how this machine works. Um, so, I don't have anything in it right now. These are just um, PVC tubes, clear PVC tubes. But, uh, you know, you got one, two, and then there's room for a third. Now, some of these machines will go, you can tumble six at a time, whatever. You know, that's an idea how it works. So, good. So, essentially what happens is, you can turn a bottle like this. I mean, you can't clean that. That's already been scrubbed down. See all the sickness on it, both sides? That's already been scrubbed, right? By hand, in the sink. You know, you use whatever you want on it. Uh, you can't get it clean, right? Now, some some of you guys really like the original look like this. The, you know, you don't mind having a bottle uh, be look like this, right? That's fine. Personally, I think that somebody wiped their ass with it. That's the way it looks to me. I don't want something, you know, on my shelf that looks like it was used as toilet paper, okay? So... I'm not trying to be funny, I'm just saying, I don't really, I, I'd rather have it cleaner. So you can take something that looks like this, and turn it into something that looks like this. This bottle looked like that one. Obviously it's a different color, but you get what I'm talking, you know, you get what I'm saying. This, this is, you know, it looks like somebody took a poop on it. This one here, clean, right? There you go. That, look, that looked a lot like this one. This one is going to be cleaned. And I'll show you a picture when it's properly, professionally cleaned. So if you look down into that tube, you see a bottle that has been suspended in the tube using the stopples. And what you do is you fill the bottle up halfway with this stuff. That's cut copper bits. You can some people use plastic pellets. That's the cheap way out. Nothing works better than you know copper, cut copper. You know I I dive into dumpsters and I grab any kind of copper wire I can find. I like 12 and 10 gauge copper, and I cut it up into little bits. We can get into that later. And so you have you have a whole bucket full of copper bits, right? 
So you fill the bottle up halfway with copper bits. Then you use your polish or your cutter. This cutter and polish, I get mine from the Jar Doctor. I'm not trying to advertise for him. The Jar Doctor is a good guy, Wayne Lowry. Call him up. Great guy if you're getting into this or whatever. So that's the cutter. And so on the inside, you only need like, and I didn't really show this because I'm not going to, you really need like, you know, a little bit, like a teaspoon. Now on the outside, obviously, you got to cover a larger circumference, right? So you, you'll need probably a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons. And then you, you, you mix the water in with it. Um, you got to go a half inch above the copper. So you fill the bottle up halfway with copper and then you fill it with water and you go about a half inch above the copper make sure you swish it around a little bit do your thing okay and now that's the cutter if you have to tumble it twice the cutter will cut that sickness out see that sickness on that brown bottle okay after you've done that if you really want to make it shine like the dickens use aluminum oxide okay aluminum oxide so here we go and that's what it sounds like when it's rolling you fill it up and let it roll give it three or four days and uh now i'll show you what it comes out like there they go rolling away one more to go Ah, that's the baby right there. She's pretty. Worn a safe cure. Well, she's not pretty now, but she will be. Here we go. Well, there they are. All three of them are rolling. Let's see how they come out. Yeah, buddy. What are these? What are these over here? Oh, that's dirt flickers. Good stuff. Okay, so we are taking the bottles out of the tumbler now. It's been a few days. And uh, we're going to put the uh, media through this strainer here. So let's do it. I just pulled the bottle stopple out, put that in there. Let's see what we got. Use this hand. See if it how it came out. Yep, here we go. Take that over here. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. All right. So after you get the bottle out. You take your tube, you have your tube here, which you're stuffing it, pour it through here, like this. And you rinse it out. So as you can see, uh, they turned out good. Um, I don't over tumble. I mean, I like to. I like them to look clean, but I still want to keep a little bit of that uh, naturalness to them. So there it is. There they are. Yep, they cleaned up good. This one, and I have it a um, little bit of paint thinner in it. There's a little bit of contents. See that won't the tumbler won't take that out. It's just contents. Uh, the thinner will thin that out, and I'll just scratch it out of there. But, I mean, you can see, I mean, that thing is, there's no, look at that thing shine. You remember what it looked like before. If you don't, I'm going to put some pictures up. So, I mean, look at that baby. What a beauty. What a beauty. Sparkles. And then the other two, a hutch and a, some weird bottle that I decided to tumble. So, yeah. Well, there's my little uh, tutorial on tumbling bottles. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Bye.